Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Quick little intro into the uh, highway right now. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you guys stay updated with the videos. Like, comment, and share. So um, by the thumbnail, you guys probably already know what we're doing today and uh we are going to put this car on the dyno so um i know for a couple people or plenty of you you're probably like oh that's a waste of time dyno numbers this this and that um and i know it's just a number every car performs differently and sometimes numbers don't mean everything um but for me i just i just want to know um that's all that's basically the only reason why I'm doing this um, because I want to know what a stock 2021 Charger Hellcat um, puts down to the wheels so we're going down to turbo technologies now um, a pretty cool shop I've been there a couple times uh, with my Mustang and my Mustang if you didn't know, I had a 2018 or 2019 Mustang GT, and it was on E85 JLT intake, and I want to say I remember it putting down 470 horsepower. That was on E85 on the same dyno. So that's a little comparison uh, to what we're, we'll see today. What do I think the car is going to make? So I've heard that Chargers, well these rear wheel drive Hellcats, they lose 15% at the dyno, depending on what type of dyno, Mustang or dyno jet, they can lose 15, 12 to 15%. So this one at the crank is rated at 717. So my guesstimate is 630. I think this will make 630 and maybe 600 pound-feet of torque today on the dyno. So we will see in a little bit. Um, so stay tuned. Make sure you guys watch the video, watch to the end. Um, I'm gonna do two pulls. So I'll, probably, I'll post both pulls and I'll show you the results at the end. And so make sure you guys watch the video, comment, share, like, and don't forget to subscribe. So I will see you guys in a bit once we get down to the, the shop. All right, right now we're strapping it down to the dyno. So in a little bit, we're gonna see how she does. If you don't remember, stock intake, just a JLT catch can, everything stock. Stock 2021, let's go. All right, in a little bit, uh, we're gonna go live. It's probably going to be really, really loud. Hopefully the GoPro mic picks up some of the sound, but uh, expect it to be very noisy. So here we go in a sec. Let's go.
so there you guys have it you guys saw the dyno video the results so the results were 635 horsepower 603 pound-feet of torque so that's what she made um, happy with those numbers kind of on par exactly of what I said 630 so I am happy with that no issues at all uh, with those numbers and uh, so this car 15% drivetrain loss on average 15 to 18 um, so with 15% that would put this car at 730 horsepower so that's how much um, in general it would probably make at the crank um, that was a dyno jet dyno jet uh, dyno we were just on so those were the numbers we got um, I'm very happy with the numbers like I mentioned before so let me know in the comments if you guys guessed right what you guys thought it would be and what you guys think of the numbers remember the car is completely stock all it has is the catch can which does nothing for the power um, but besides that, it is completely stock. Um, I will be installing my first performance modification um, in the next couple days. I might even do it this weekend just because I knocked this dyno out. Um, I wanted to see where it was at. And then when I do that performance mod, uh, I'll probably bring it back just to see if that performance mod does anything for power. So we'll find out. In a little bit what that mod would be so thank you guys for staying tuned remember stay tuned stay safe stay blessed out